Hey everybody, this is Ken from Fort Hickory. Now, there's a lot of fire making videos on YouTube, but I've never seen one quite like this. I saw in a movie once a long time ago, a guy cut off part of his beard and used that as tinder to strike a spark into. And I always wondered if that would work. So yesterday I got my hair cut and I asked the lady if I could take some of my hair and she thought I was crazy. But I asked her again, hey, can I have some of my hair? And she still thought I was crazy. And I said, no, you don't understand. I'm just going to try to light it on fire. Uh, eventually, I ended up with a napkin full of my own hair, so let's take it over to the wood pile and see if we can catch a spark on it. So guys, here we go. This is my little pile of hair and some other people's hair too. That's kind of gross. A uh, little tip, when you're striking a fire steel, you don't want to run your striker down the fire steel because you're running that towards your tinder bundle, which could be delicate, and you risk knocking it and knocking it all over the place. You want to keep it, your striker still and pull the fire steel backwards to strike your sparks like that. So I actually have no idea if this is going to work, uh, but let's give it a try. Oh, it's smoking a little bit, but... It's not looking good, guys. Let's fluff this up a little bit. Yeah, I'm throwing some decent sparks on there, guys, and nothing seems to be catching. Yeah, so there you have it. Just for reference, let me show you how quick a cotton ball will catch. Just one strike and that's going up like gangbusters. Yeah, so guys, I guess the verdict is uh, hair's not the best tinder. Wow. So I guess it turns out everything you see in movies isn't true. Hard to believe. Anyway, guys, this is Ken from Fort Hickory. Adios.